In this Mystery Rummy card game, the goal is to earn points by collecting cards that will be used to help foil escape plans. A sample game has been set up to demonstrate what happens at various stages of play in Escape from Alcatraz. Player 1 starts the game by drawing two cards from the cell block. There is one available escapee card in the yard, so player 1 can meld a new plan by laying down at least three matching plan cards. After a player starts or plays off a plan, he must draw an action card and follow the instructions on it. This action card requires player 1 to take the top three cards from the cell block, choose one to add to his hand, and discard the rest in the solitary pile. Player 1 puts away the used action card. At the end of every turn, each player must always discard a card from his hand. Player 2 draws two cards from the cell block. Since the number of escapees in the yard has to be equal to or greater than the number of plans in play, player 2 cannot yet start a new plan. Instead, he plays off the saw through bars plan with a matching purple card from his hand. Playing a plan card means he must now draw an action card. This action card instructs the player to take two cards from the cell block and add them to his hand. It also tells him to turn over three more cards from the cell block and place all escapees in the yard. Since there is now an available escapee in the yard, player two may start a new escape plan. He can also add one more card to the existing active plans. Please note that only one action card is taken per turn. At the end of his turn, player two discards. Let's jump ahead in the game to see how foiling works. Player 1 starts his turn by taking the first card from Solitary. He uses a card to continue play on an existing escape plan. Since a total of 8 matching plan cards have been played, Player 1 can now foil the purple escape plan. He needs an escapee card as the plan's mastermind. The matching infamous escapee for this plan is not available, but Player 1 can foil the plan with a generic or gray-colored escapee, either from the yard or from his hand. He takes the escapee card from the yard, along with all of the Saw Through Bars plan cards in his play area, and collects these cards under his foiled card. Player 2 now plays his matching plan cards. He can also play the corresponding escapee card from his hand as a co-conspirator. Generic escapees can be used for any plan, but infamous escapees can be used only for the plan that matches their color. Player 1 initiated the foil, so he takes an action card and follows the instructions. At the end of his turn, he must discard a card. A round is over either when there are no more cards in the cell block draw pile or when a player discards his or her last card, referred to as going out. That player gains a bonus of three points for each escapee still in the yard at the end of the round. If a player goes out before any escape attempts have been foiled, that player gets full points for each escapee in the yard. That is, the face value for each escapee. 10 points for each infamous escapee, and 5 points for each generic escapee, and no one else scores any points that round. The point value of each card is indicated in the corners of the cards. Each player scores the total number of points on all the cards under their foiled card. Cards still in play do not count for scoring, and cards in players' hands do not count for or against scoring. The winner is the first player to reach 100 or more points. See the instruction booklet for the complete set of rules.